Hey Collective, how y'all doing out there today? So your girl is here to give you another one. And I hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. Now, we're going to use these cards today. Now, a lot of you guys might be seeing the number 333. Now, 333 is all about a spiritual awakening. Now, I told y'all it's going to be a lot of that going on. A lot more of the sheeple is about to wake up. Now, 333 also talks about uh, mending relationships. Now, there may be some relationships that you need to clean up, walk away from, and just understand that mending does not mean that you have to continue to interact with these people. Now, I think that this is important just because we have 41 and 42 here. Something is in alignment. You got soulmates. I want to show you. Which is 41. And you have 42 here with chop wood. Time to let bygones be bygones. So you can get light as a feather. Alright. We got peace and yang coming out here. However, that's a little bit too many. We just want one spirit, please. What? I'm going to pay attention to it. And exchange gifts right here with peace. Now, I think you, something is about to hatch for you. Some change. Yeah. Growth. I'm just looking at the star right here on this egg. And that's all about your masculine energy, you know, exchanging energy to create abundance. Yeah, clean it up. And I think this is breaking soul contracts due to the work that you've been putting in on yourself. But cleaning it up. We just one one spirit, please. <laughs> All right, you got a deep knowing and treasure island showing up here. Now, I think I'm going to take this deep knowing. Because it's 43. <laughs> I think this is what Spirit is talking about. Yeah, something's going on here. You got 8, 9, and 11 showing here. And this by the book is about karma. You know? And this community card. Now, it's some things within your community that you need to clean up. Now, you got 8-8 eight, eight here. It looks like a lot of alignment going on, guys. Now, I hope that you can uh, actually see this progress in your life. There's a lot of wisdom. Because you have gotten to the root of some of your situations. And I tell y'all, there is definitely a collaboration in regards to sexual intimacy when it comes to clearing out your energy. Having those healthy connections. Yeah. And it's right here at the bottom of the deck. Now let's keep that over there because we're going to pay attention to that. And understand that because the channel has grown a little bit. Now the last time I checked it, it was 3,003 
you know, subscribers. And the energy has been shifting back and forth. That's because you have new viewers now, you know, that stay connected to the channel. And I'm picking up on their energy. And just understand that, you know, all readings may not be for you. You know, bits and pieces of it may be for you. So just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Now, a lot of times I'm noticing that relationships are coming up. You know, unions. Because a lot of that is about to take place, guys. Now, if it come up in the reading and you're happy to look at it and you don't want to be in a relationship, just leave it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's forcing anybody to be in a relationship. My darling. All right. If you're good, you're good. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what's the soulmates? And we know that soulmates isn't always about sexual contact, intimacy. More than anything, I think that spirit want us to start valuing the opposite sex. To bring that balance. That equilibrium. I just want three spirit, please. All right, thank you. And first card out is community. Now, I did do a pre shuffle, and we got community over here, and we got community here. So, it's definitely something going on with the community bill. However, this is the number eight, and this is the number seven. Now, because this is the number seven, there's a deep knowing in regards to soulmates within your community. Now, soulmates can be karmic soulmates. Karmic ties. You know? That's why I've been talking about that base, those connections. You have to understand that when you're willing to deal it out here, you know? Those connections that the people that you be with become your connections too. It's called soul ties. Now you got cornucopia. On chop wood. Now this is just like uh, the wheel of fortune. It's just like a big old harvest, and it's the number eleven. So it's in more ways than one. It's about your ascension. process in all areas of your life. Now what is this deep known? Now, a lot of you guys are actually going to be um, bringing in your manifestations because you're cleaning up. The root chakra, I want to say. Now, this is the number 41. 
And over here we have Soulmates. That's the number 41. This is why I'm liking these numbers on this card because it kind of gives me the collaboration, the correlation between the cards. However, let me see what I forget what this is. We did read it the other day, but let me see. Now, 4141 is here twice. You could be 41. You could be a life path number five. Could be a life path seven, 11, or six. Now, um, we got seven, seven here. Wow. So we got seven, seven here and 41, 40 here. Hmm. Wow. Is that that reflection? <laughs> I think it is, y'all. 4107. I don't even know if that's an angel number, y'all. But I think they got an angel number for everyone. Look it up. Or right, it's 417. 417. Which would be a 12. Which is a door. New portals with that cornucopia. And look. This a, it's a method to madness, y'all. And that's a number 11. And that's a door for cleaning those situations up. It's clearing your path. Yeah. Now, where is the um book? Oh, right here in front of my face. <laughs> I just want to uh, remind myself of what Uriel is talking about. Now, if you're new to the channel, bear with your girl because it's a method here. It all makes sense when I bring it all together. Now, it says the beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra, and it is located at the top of your head. This card upright indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great and the weather and weather is the presence of an ascended master a powerful angel like Uriel, or just a loving friend or family member in spirit. Their love and willingness to assist is always there. They even open you to the Akashic Records. The storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. With that cornucopia right here. Making sure you clean up your energy. Cut those negative connections. Because we have hostilities right here. Let those bygones be bygones. If I didn't mention it, 3-3. Three, three. It's hot today. I seen 333 three, three on the phone when I started this reading. And that's all about spiritual awareness. Right here with that number 11. Your intuition is hot. 
cleaning out the cobwebs. Look, that door is open. It's open. Right here. With a deep knowing and wisdom. Right over the Uriel. Now let's see. Because this doesn't necessarily have to be uh well, Chopwood is here at the soulmates, which is telling me that you're cleaning up some negative situation. However, I don't know, guys. I think maybe uh, some of these situations can be salvaged. Because I'm just paying attention to you got two in white and one in red, which is giving me the root chakra. You know what I'm saying? That passion. And every time I look at this car, she looked pregnant. The one in red. All right, so what's this community and soulmate? Oh, look, what's coming out? We can't make it up. And I put that dot over her because she's bare. situation that you need to clean up boo. now you got the number 35 coming out here with this anchor now a lot of these things are anchored however I see this anchor kind of subsiding it's coming up out the water Now that's the nine of uh, spades or swords. Now that's your mind. Your thought process. You cleaning it up. So that that abundance can come in. Now this abundance is going to come in and infinite possibilities and ways because this is the number 35 which is an 8 alright Now, what is this uh, deep knowing? Wow. Spirit love you. Somebody is really ascendant. Look at that. The ascendant master number. With the key. To the cage of the mind. Letting go of those hostilities. People in your community. Yeah. And because this is the number 29. Now this is the ace of spades, which is the ace of diamonds. Your intuition is on fire in regards to these relationships that you need to cut loose. Now the ace of diamonds, I mean ace of spades, there's no love. You know? However, this is use, using your sword to cut those relationships off. But the divine feminine that's operating with the sword, it's time for her to step into her divinity.
Now, if you're doing this, you know that you're on the right track. Okay. Yeah. Right here. New doors. About to fly high. Look at all that wisdom on them trees. These owls. And here you go, right here, with the sword. Hostilities. That's for the masculine as well. You are not exempt. <laughs> it take two to tango. This is what this is all about. Cutting those negative contracts. Explicit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, I think I was doing a read and I was like the eight of wands. I don't know why I couldn't think of the eight of wands as communication. Now this is communication. And this is you communicating your truth in regards to these soulmates within this community. Yeah. Look like it's gonna be a victory too, boo. Yeah. You know, it's just like even if it's not anyone that you're physically attached to, even if you're in hermit mode, spirit wants you to uh work on your idealism in regards to relationships even if you don't want to be in a relationship you know you hold on to the ideal that you know the opposite sex is you know just not for you you don't want to be in no you don't have to be in a connection but I think it's the overall respect that we need to attain to a higher frequency. Now I'm noticing that this Eight of Wands is in reverse. So, it could just mean lack of communication, which is good, too. <laughs> Probably even better. You know what I'm saying? Cutting all contact. Now, uh, I got like five missed calls from a uh, um, verified number today. But every time I try to answer the phone, it would drop. So I tried calling the bed and it said it's invalid. Now it's under the same area code as me. So I'm like, what is this about? Why is, and it just did it again while I'm on the phone. I mean, doing this. I don't know what that's about, y'all. It's weird. 
However, you got the five of cups here. Now, because this 41 and this soulmate card making feel like somebody felt like something was a waste of time. <laughs> and I'm just looking at her. As she represents the community. But you got four people here. But it looked like you're moving on. And just know it wasn't a waste of time. It was a lesson. It was a lesson. But it do look like you're moving on. However, that devil is the devil of the mind. That you need to move on from. Yeah. Now you got the five of pentacles. Now it do look like you're freeing yourself from some types of community. Because this is the community card again. On deep knowing. Now some of these people that you need to free yourself from. May not value you. Got you anchored that you need to clean up. I'm just looking at all this right here. Yeah, you need to free yourself. Hostilities. A little anger, a little jealousy. Waste of time. Because you got the five five right here and the cherry in between. Both of them. With lack of communication and this, freeing yourself with a deep knowing right here. Yeah, telling you to pay attention to your intuition. Your guides is helping you. And you can look at this in the negative and the positive. Could be your guides because you got those orbs there. Bringing you into better connections. Yeah. And I don't know why uh spirit made me say all all uh skin folk and kin folk. <laughs> I don't know what that got to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, you got craziness in all colors. Karmic in all colors. Yep, time to cut the ties. Some of these people minds are anchored. Look, you got the key. You try to lead them to water, but they won't drink. This, they won't clean it up. They need to clean it up. And it's so crazy that the chariot is in between. These two. But I do see that a lot of you do see that, you know, some of these situations is just not for you. It's just giving me succubus vibes here with this queen of uh, swords wanting what she wants. And people in your community want to dictate. But you're moving on. Freeing yourself, cleaning yourself up. But then there's some out there that's not, y'all. They want to stay stuck in the madness, in the drama, in the toxic relationships. The unhealthy habits.
And it's making me think about this, uh, I didn't finish uh, looking at it, but this TikTok uh, viral video that's going around about who the heck did I marry? And she uh, didn't pay attention to any of the red flags. For the sake of being in the relationship. And you got the king of pentacles here. Look like you're vibrating high. Look like them coinages is coming in. Gaining control over your emotions. Moving on. Now this can also mean that you're turning your back on some of these thrills, I want to say. <laughs> it's just like instant gratification gets you nowhere. It just keeps you anchored. Looking for love in all the wrong places, I want to say. Keep you in your head instead of setting yourself free. Look like my reading is going back to school. Uh, day one I'm sure it's going to change y'all so all my people that is beyond this point we got to uh, allow a little grace for the people that's just coming into this awakening you know what I'm saying they got to understand and get to the root that correlation between healthy sexual behavior and how it stunts your growth. It's where the root of the issue resides. Now you got the world card over here, closing those cycles out, that communication, becoming an empress, knowing that it wasn't a waste of time. It was to teach you. And you got the Knight of Swords here on the chariot. Now, it do look like some fast communication. And the Knight of Swords is all about logic, fast-moving action. Now, that's got something to do with that cornucopia. For all of you guys that's been out there doing work, And what you thought was missed opportunities and feeling left out in the cold was to teach you. So that spirit can bring you in something that is more on a, a stronger foundation. Yeah. You had to clean up some things, boo. Get anchored. Get unanchored. And that anchor is your mind. That nine of swords. Chaos and conflict. Toxic relationships. You know? Yeah. Deep known. The Hierophant. Now, this is all about organizations, beliefs, and things of that nature. However, this, again, can go both ways when you look at this Three of Cups. This can be new, improved collaborations that think like you. Oh, what happened to my... Oh, I've got to turn that off, y'all. I don't know. 
I usually would be able to pause the video. I guess I could. Listen. All right. I had to pause the video because of the commercial. Now, what I was saying, this is the Hierophant, and it's on the deep knowing. This is elevation. This is on that key, that 33 Ascended Master. The angels working with you, elevating. New collaborations. However, this is also a deep knowing in regards to relationships that you need to cut those cords with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I also want to say, because I'm looking at this Four of Cups and this Knight of Swords, somebody might be failing to see the type of relationship that they have in front of them because this could be perceived as a runner. Somebody that's love bombing. Somebody that you need to move on from. Somebody that got you anchored. Somebody, some situation that you need to clean up with. Yeah. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. Somebody taking their time. Don't want to commit right away. Yeah. Not ready. And not to say that this person is necessarily bad because they're making a dedicated effort. Let's move slow. These are two different nights. I think you need somebody with more dedication. And I'm just saying because he is at the bottom of the deck, it kind of explains this person's behavior. Yeah. Got you looking out the window. And look where I stopped on. That's for somebody. Yeah, when you hold on, you hold on, you hold on. You need somebody that's going to give you that equal exchange. Now, I do see giving and receiving. I see those downloads and all that good stuff. That ascension process. Wish fulfillments. It's for a lot of you guys. Because you did the work. Self-discovery. Wish fulfillments coming in. Light bulb moment. Yeah. But some of y'all need to have a light bulb moment in regards to some of these relationships. You see that? And heal from them. Because it's anchoring your cornucopia. Yeah. The queen right there. Deceiving herself. Holding on to that sword. That's what she got. The sword over there. You need to step into this energy. My love. Now y'all. I know that a lot of you guys are past this, <laughs> but again, the new people, and not to say that it's for all the new people, okay? I know some of the new people are probably beyond this stage as well, but it's somebody 
that's going to view this message that need to hear this. Okay, so. Let me just make that clear. Okay. But it looks like good things is coming for you. The collector. The tower moment. That cornucopia. I also see tower moments. That's going to get some of you guys out of some of these toxic situations. So that you can go into hermit mode. Do that self-reflection. Work on that inner child. The root. The base. So that you can come in balance with yourself. Yeah. You think about some things. Get your mind right. That's what the angels are there for. To help you unlock some of that stuff. That you're holding on to. So that you can come into your abundance. And remember. Whatever you're putting out there is what you're getting back. Just need to come into balance. Your thought. Yeah. The masculine and the feminine. Take off the mask. The ego. Put those bags down. Because you're just deceiving yourself. With all this chaos and conflict. And keep spinning on that karmic wheel. Now, I can suggest that y'all go back and look at all my previous videos. They are very helpful. And they are all timeless. It's going to help you tap into the work that you need to do, boo. Okay. So let's pull you some more angel cards. And y'all beware of these scams out here. Because they, they, they treacherous. <laughs> and it says, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. That's those relationships. That keep you in a low vibration. You know, uh, mm. it just makes you angry when you in a relationship with somebody that doesn't value you. It, it, just yelling and screaming and love me, love me. That's what you're doing. And you reward bad behavior when they go out there and cheat on you and you sleep with them and then you attach yourself to everybody they've been out there messing with child it's just too much <laughs> and wonder why you can't get free it's telling you to spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective right here on this anchor in this chop wood And you have a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. And that's for all my people that's over here that has ascended. That deep knowing, that wisdom, that ascension, doing the work, connecting the spirit. Understand that equal give and take. Understand when you out here rewarding bad behavior and you're in these relationships that don't value you, the universe say, okay, if that's what you want, there you go. Boom, bam, you got it. You want to stay in it? We got you. And that's your message, darling. Father of Chanto. Now I'll keep you up to date.